Hi you all. This is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love. And um uh I just wanted to do this short video for you in remembrance of everyone who knows and loved this entertainer and he got to and touched each and every one of our hearts uh through his music. Um he was a very quiet, personal, humbled guy. And he said yes to tell you he was a guy for those who were a little skeptical. Um, the things that he'd done, um, he was able to show his feminine and masculine side. And I think you all knew what I'm talking about. His prints. And it took me a while to make this video. It took me like a couple of days. I had to, first I had to get out all the madness that I had uh, regarding his death, things that I felt inside, things that I knew that were going on within the industry and himself. Um, uh, I had to get that anger out first and, and actually kind of meditate a couple of days because I'm going to tell you this one thing, um, this reading is going to be about Prince. He wants me to, to deliver some messages, tell you a little about himself and deliver some messages to you is what he's been egging me at for the past few days. And I finally got up the courage to do it. Um, um, he had me to wear, he was choosing like, telling me to put different clothes on like he likes to wear um, lacy old type things. So he had me to pick this lace top out to wear. So I put this on and I very rarely ever, I, I never wore this thing before. I mean, since I was working back in my work days I, I, and, and for some reason he told me to wear this. You know, it's lacy, like how he likes stuff like lacy. You know how he wore his thing. And, you know, he just had me to pick this out. And I said, okay, so I'll put this on. And like I feel like I'm going back to work or something. And um, he had me to wear a necklace with a heart on it and something, earrings with purple. He, he, This is what he dressed me up. The way I'm dressed up right now is everything that Prince Spirit told me to put on. So I went to take my glasses on off to put my, uh, put my contacts in. And he's like, no, 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 no. I want you to put the, your glasses back on. I like you with your glasses on. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> he said, yeah, I like you with your glasses on. So I kept my glasses on. Uh, we have to honor what the spirit does, especially when they uh, agree to come in for you to talk about them and their lives. You have to uh, go by what they say. So I did everything he said. Um, I remember when I went to the store the other day, I saw something at the store, which I'll show you everything. I have a purple um, inset for uh, for Prince because he loves purple. And I got something here. Let me show you. And he led me to get a couple of things when I was out. Okay. That's what, and he told me, to, look, right here, there's some purple shades. He made me get some purple. I said, what you want purple shades? It, he said, put them purple shades up there. So I got the purple shades, and I put them up here. Like, okay. So here's the purple shades. You guys can see those. They're purple. And I got the purple um, candle lit. And then I got my purple um, crystal. I bought some jewelry from a, a young lady and it was like a lot of, of it was oh, antiques. Now Prince liked a lot of things that were like say back in the 16, 1700s he's telling me. He liked things uh, like old fashioned things and that's where his fashion basically came from. It wasn't like a, a woman woman attire, it, you, you know, it could go both ways but his style was different. He was just being different in order to capture the world's attention. Sometimes to capture the world's attention you have to think outside the box and you have to do things out of the box that's going to just like go wow. And it's going to be a shock but then after a while you'll get used to that. You'll listen to the person's music and what the music has to say and you know and then you'll look at that person whether they dress no matter what they dress like you're just the music is really what he wanted to get through to people wasn't you know what he was wearing and things like that well some of the stuff that he wore he had a meaning behind it was like he was trying to like say you know set yourself free be you be you to be who you want to be and far as men I'm feeling that he said to tell you guys that it's okay to show your masculine and your feminine side 
You don't have to be so masculine and and so you know even you know when you get around your guys and and it say your girls around that you have to feel like you know oh I better not hold hands or oh I better not kiss her on the cheek or oh I better not get walk too close to her you know that's not cool and all that kind of stuff no Prince is sending out a message to a lot of you men out there that is okay women like that that's just like he when he was telling me what to wear you know I like I like that. I was like, really? You want me to wear this? And he's like, you know, very, I mean, very humble. And I could see his smile in my head. Like, everything. I was like, this? You want me to? And he was like, no, not that. And I go, he was, he's very picky. I'm going to tell you, he was a very picky person. And Prince loved women. There wasn't nothing funny about him. He loved women. And women loved him back because he was so in tune with himself with his feminine side like I said and his masculine side you know he he showed both of those sides and that's what women like he had that softness about him and then he had that toughness about him as well and he was able to combine them both to make him a whole person and you know when he walked he walked in confidence his head was always up in the in the sky not one like he was um it wasn't like he was being arrogant or anything. He wasn't an arrogant person. He was very humbled and very um, uh, private. Uh, whatever you got out of him, you got out. You, you, whatever you talked to him, you know, he talked the truth. Whatever he said, he was going to tell the truth about it. Um, like I said, very humble. But the message is for a lot of you men out there, um, and I know you probably weren't that many of you were Prince fans, he said, but the only message he was trying to get across is to just be free. Show your masculine side just as well as your feminine. And your friends don't really matter when it comes to a relationship. You have to make that relationship, whatever it, do whatever it takes to make that relationship work for you. Um, and you do have to show a little softer side and, as well. I mean, if you're around friends, you feel like hugging your woman, hug your woman. If you feel like kissing your woman on the cheek, kiss your woman on the cheek. And if you feel like you want to hold her hand, hold her hand. Get in touch with your feminine side and love it. You know, if you got somebody who loves you and going to give you their all, gentlemen, this is a message from you to Prince. Give them your all. Give them, show them your love. Don't be afraid. I don't care if your guy's around or I don't care who's around. Your mom's around, your papa's around, whoever. And I don't care who never experienced that in their life. You, he didn't experience it because he already told us he came from an abusive family. Which, you know, he came from an abusive family, so he didn't experience that love, but he, but he had so much love to give. He was, he was sure enough his name, that he was named Prince Nelson. He was really a prince. His mother knew what she was doing when she called. The Lord told her to call him that, because he truly, truly is a prince. Like I said, he'd walk around, he had a little strut walk with him, like, you know, I may be five foot two or whatever, but, hey, and, and I, all you giants is around me, but none of y'all, you know, you don't intimidate me. I'm a person just like you are. I go to the bathroom, I do just like you do. I pee just like you do. I got something too much just like you do. Um, I, you are no better than I am just because of, I don't have the height. I make up it. I make up for it in other ways is what he kind of the way he took everything. Prince was a good guy, I'm telling you. And yes, he was all man. He was all manly, but he was just, he could show his, he wasn't afraid of who he was as a man. And what, he kind of set an example of what a man uh, uh, should be, be like, basically. And um, like I said, he helped me choose out my, my little jewelry to put on. My, did I show you my earrings? They got purple in it. Told me to put a little bit of this purple lipstick on. I don't even like it, you know, but that's what he wanted me to do. So I put a little bit on, and then I he chose these earrings for me. They look kind of old. I don't know if you guys can see these. They look kind of um, antique-ish. But he wanted me to put them on, so I put them on, and he wanted me to wear my hair like this I was getting ready to do the long thing y'all know what I do and he's like nope again he's very finicky about you know what he likes and what he likes to see in women and he'll tell you you know he'll tell you that 
So with all that said, you guys, I'm going to do the reading for Prince and give the messages that he wants me to give you. For one thing, like I said, he asked me to, uh, when I was out shopping, he told me to get this. And it says, do all things with love. So for all of you, from me to from Prince's spirit, from the Most High God who let Prince come to speak through me and use me as a speaker or, or my voice for him. He says this, he, he drew me to this that day when I went out. He drew me to this, do all things with love. He said, oh, Sandy, I want you to have that up as a display along with these purple, <laughs> purple shades. And he wanted, you know, me to bring in my purple uh, crystal and this, which is purple. And if you can see it real close, it looks like there's something in it. Matter of fact, I've seen some things in this too. And I'm going to, this is going to be another video too. And it's got purple, you know, little slash. Actually, it's a necklace, but he told me to use it. Just set it here. So I'm going to just set it here and do what he tells me to do. So I can get all the messages out that he wants, okay? So here we go. I'm not going to do it be too long. I'm going to do exactly what he asked me to do. I'm not going to give you the cards that he told me to read from. I'm just going to go ahead and go through this. And I was going to play some Prince music, but I do know about the copyrights. But some, you know, they let you do it. But you know, you know, I, he told me this is what he said when I was about to put on some Prince music in the background. He said, "No, just get some regular music that has a piano sound in it." And I was like, "A piano sound?" So I was like looking all over YouTube, like, "What? What do I? How do I type this in?" I just typed in. Because I like to do meditation a lot. You know, I have people that I counsel when I do meditation. So, you know, I have a bunch of meditation music saved on my on my pad. But this one I did. So I just typed in piano meditation music. And then, you know, that came up. And I accidentally pushed the button play on this one. Because they had a bunch of them that I was just looking through. I didn't know if he was going to try to direct me to it or what. But I just accidentally pushed the button. And, um... That came on there, and he said, that's it right there. That's okay right there. <laughs> so, he, I'm telling you, he is a real, from him being so cool, you would believe he is a, here's one for you. He, he's a comic. He's comic view. He will have you cracking up. He's very funny. His spirit comes along as so humorous, but lighthearted and really real. He has a very good sense of humor. He will have you cracking up. You wouldn't believe it from his demeanor on on TV. You take him like, oh wow, he's so serious, you know, or he don't hardly have nothing to say. He's shy. Not really shy, he's just reserved, meek, humble guy. That's all. He's a regular person just like anybody else he wanted me to tell you. He's a regular person and he loved everybody. He didn't care who you were, but he had some troubles. He's going to give you a little bit uh, about his life here in a minute. Just let me focus in. Okay, Prince, what you want me to say? Speak through me, Prince, through the, from the Most High God. Prince, you're able to speak through me now, today. You're welcome into this reading, Prince, and you can tell me what you want to say to your viewers, Prince. Thank you. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me to speak and whoever else you choose to speak your peace through. Because you had a lot that you kept in and I believe you want to use us um, speakers and psychics and mediums who are connected to the Most High God to deliver some messages that you wanted to say before you parted this earthly realm into the heavenly realm. Thank you for choosing me, Prince. Thank you, Father, for letting him choose me. Amen. Okay, let me just shuffle these cards a little bit more. And this pillow, I, you know, I was looking for something purple to put down. I forgot to pick up something purple while I was out. So, you know, I was running. I was like, I don't have nothing to put on the table. It's just going to be white. He said, girl, you better get that purple pillow. I was like, purple pillow? What purple pillow? <laughs> And I was like, oh, I had that thing hidden, buried under a bunch of clothes that I had in there, packed, all packed up and everything. It was like, I think, like, oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. And I had this pillow um, underneath piles and piles of clothes that I got back there that I'm, you know, getting, 
been cleaning out and I know I, I talk a lot and everything but I do get to the when I, I get to the reading that's what I get to and I'll focus on that but I just wanted to tell you the experience that I went through with a spiritual being who is a pop star he's the mega star he is but he, he is just a regular man just like anybody else and he's and I'm just so honored that he allowed me to do this for him in his honor I really am so I just had to tell you how what I went through why why all this is the way it is this is what I experienced um, and it took me a long time to do this because like I said I was mad at first when I heard about it I knew already what went on I already knew and uh, but you know what he, I had to calm down. I had to get in the meditation, and I had to present this what he wants you you to know, and what he wants to tell you regarding this. And the cards that he picked out are, you know, I'm just going to just go, use them and how he tells me to use them and give the messages through. So, okay. Let me stop talking. I talk too much sometimes. I know. But you can always fast forward. Okay, so I hope you can see these on this purple pillar here. Okay, um, first thing he wants you all to know that he was a true soldier. Like, you know, he held his own. You know, he had a he had a lot. He had a a lot to to offer. He offered a lot to others. He protected his domain. You know what I'm saying? He was. Like I said, he might have been a little guy and everything, but he stood strong like a true prince would. I ain't talking about these princes that they, you know, go through heirs of, of, of born into royalty and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about a man who came from rags to riches. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a true soldier, a soldier who had to go through battles and wars and things with record uh, companies. And he was in the... Um, he wanted you to know that he had to battle everything that he got. He's protecting what he got. He was very protected of what he got. Um, because it was his. You see that bag on his shoulder? That was all what he, you know, collected. All his collections are in that bag right there. And he kept it to himself. You know, he kept that stuff to himself because he'd been through battle with the industry. With, with what he created they wanted to take away from him so he was in battle okay that's all I can tell you that's come, that he's saying to me that he was in great battle with these corporations and he also wants me to tell you whoever wants to whoever thinking about getting into the industry he wants you to use your mind and he wants you to have people on your side and keep them on your side. Don't let the, the industry rule you. You keep your own um, God-given gifts to yourself. Don't give away nothing to them. Uh, be careful of signing contracts. Um, and he said make sure you put God first. You know, always uh, consult with God all the time because that's what he was doing throughout his you know his wars and battles with these with the industry regarding his money and his rights and his um you know what he earned he 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 stood battle all by himself he, you know he really didn't have nobody with him but himself that fought these battles and he did a real good job of it too kept his head on straight uh and kept protection of what he had because he seen how they done him you know um he went through he went through hell y'all that's all I want y'all to know that he wants y'all to know that he he went through some hell with the with the industry regarding his rights to what he wrote his writings his um his success his 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 estate his whole estate that belonged to him and he took it you know he took it back he had to go through war, he had to go through heartache and pain to do it, but he did it anyway. Because you know why? He was dealing with he was dealing with thieves. He was dealing with thieves. Just like I was saying um on one of his songs. Love come quick. Love come in a hurry. There are thieves 
in the temple tonight. That's exactly what, and I remember posting something on Facebook. That's what I kept getting. And I'm also tell you as well, the day that Prince died, when I woke up that morning, I woke up with his songs going through my head. And I am straight up serious swear I swear to you I woke up that morning singing his songs was going through my head and I was like humming them you know around the house I'm like well why am I why am I why am I why Prince songs coming up in my head but you know I always loved Prince you know when I went to California the first day I went to California I went to California um to be a model I went to Barbizon uh um Barbizon school of modeling when I went to uh when I went to California in the early 80s, um, as soon as I got off the plane, I went right straight to go see Prince. Prince put on a heck, hell of a show. I'm talking about it was so different to, from anything that I ever seen in my entire life. And I enjoyed myself. And Time was there is with him as well. Time is another group that he, you know, backed up and everything like that. It was part of his entourage. So yes, um, th you know there were thieves. There were thieves, like he said in his song. He was some of them songs you sit back and listen to now will tell you his life. It, he talks about his life in those, um, in those, uh, in his songs. You know, there's th thieves in, in in the temple, and the temple is like your place. You know, whatever you, uh, maybe this temple, maybe the temple of your your body is your temple as well. So, you know, he could have been talking about thieves trying to, you know, do something to him, to his temple. There's thieves in the temple tonight. There, you know, uh, there's thieves, you know, you know, maybe in his physical realm, you know, what, what as far as his, his belongings, his estate. There's thieves there. That's what he was fighting for. That's what he was battling against. He was battling against the industry for a while. And he was very poised. And very diplomatic about it as well. That's why you didn't see a whole bunch of stuff in the newspaper and, you know, all this kind of stuff. He didn't make a big old commotion out of it. But, you know, he was quietly, humbly, humbling, fighting with the industry to get back the rights to his, his, his estate and his music, his catalog. And he got it. He had to fight for it, but he got it. He got it back. And then the thieves, here come the thieves coming in to try to take it back. Yes, sir. He sure did come in. They came in. They show them coming in the window. Look, the thieves came through the window. They came. They came. It's showing here. He's telling you. He's telling you what he wants you to know. He's seen it before he left here. They came. He got what he wanted. He was protected. Uh, he was protecting his stuff. But the thieves came back to get it. They came back to get him. They came right through the window. Okay? Snuck up on him. Thieves. Okay? And then, you know, on home he went to the Lord. He's with the Lord. You best believe that. He wants me to let you know that he is with the Lord. For sure. He's with them. And he's beautiful. He, he's, 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 he's at a high rank as well. He's like sitting as a prince. As the prince that he is. That's what he's doing right now. Sitting as the prince. He wants you to let you know that he's happy y'all. And that he's free. And he wants us to know someday we're going to be free. He, he was telling me that it's very, he said it's the most beautiful thing he ever seen in his whole entire life. He said it's not like living this life is so free. You don't need anything. Everything is just prepared for you. Your dreams, your hope, everything is there for you. It's like your own creation is with God all things are there with you yep see he went home with the Lord They're tell he's telling you he's with the Lord don't worry you know these devils can you know they can come in they can kill steal and destroy but one thing they can't do they can't take your soul unless you let them but Prince refused to and that was the whole problem that was the battle that was the battle.
He refused to let them have what he created, his creation that God gave him. The Lord gave him that. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So, you know, what did they accomplish by, you know, killing him? You know, taking his him ahead of his time. They really didn't. You know, they really didn't. And they're going to see this one day. Every life that they take away from this planet, they will have to suffer for. And that, boy, oh boy, that's a lot of suffering. If you really look back and you can go way back to the beginning of time, that's a lot of suffering to go through. That's eternal. That's everlasting. Here was the, here was the news about what happened. This is the news coming. It's upside down, so it's bad news. Came out. The news came out. What happened? That our soldier, our prince, our loved one, our our beautiful young man was snuffed out by thieves that snuck in at night. And they did what they had to do. They did what they did do. And he went home to the Lord. Yes, he's in heaven. He's in heaven. Yes, he wants you to know that. There's the bad news circulating throughout the media, social media, through his families, through the social media, um, letters of condolences. Um, and here's someone, um, I believe, uh, from the family members waiting for some type of results. They're waiting for some type of... Uh, there's somebody waiting in his family. It could be it, it could be his ex-wife. It could be somebody he was very close to or dear. They're waiting to f find out some results about what happened to him. Because they've some there's somebody in the family that's feeling very suspicious as well. It could have been somebody. It could have been somebody he was very close to. It could have been um, uh, an older woman as, as well in this situation I don't know who this could be I don't know if his mother's still alive or somebody that he knows very well you know so there's two women here one young woman and one older woman that's wondering they're waiting on some news they're wondering and, and waiting on news about what really went on here They're wondering, you know, was this a was this accidental or was this somebody done this to him? See, they want some they want some truth. The family wants some truth. In the meanwhile, they're going to be humble too. They're not going to start a big old ruckus and all this kind of stuff, like what happened in the you know the MJ Michael Jackson scene. This is going to be really you know they're humble just as like how he was. Um. They they want some answers. They want some answers, and 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 they're praying. They're praying for answers as well. His family. They're praying for answers for their son or whoever their whoever's dear and close to him is. They're wanting answers, and the answer, you know, like I said, they want answer answers to his death. Like I just said before this even came out. They want answers about his death. They are seeking answers regarding his death because there is some suspicion. There is some act of suspicion here. I already showed you already. You know, people coming in just snuck in. They snuck in. There, this was shady. And, and it's showing you. He's telling you it was shady. It was a shady deal. And there's the messenger again, you know, like messages all over the place, all over the world now that's come out. At first it was a message and and nobody really knew who what happened when it first came out. But they knew. Let me I'll tell you this. They really knew. They knew what happened. They were just trying to pull their story together. You know, normally they have this stuff um, all figured out what they're going to do. But something went wrong. Something went wrong he's telling me that and on how they were uh, 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 going to do this something went wrong so that's why it took so long for them to you know talk about um, they had to wait they had to wait and figure out um, 
who or who the person was, you know, at the estate when they know good and darn well who it was. It was just another hold up, another thing to, to pull their thing together on how they was going to deliver the messages to the to the masses and to the family. Or the or it was a hold up. Maybe the family held up the the uh, you know held up everything until. Um, until they could find out something once they got the message or word of what had happened at his home, and, you know, delivering the message. Maybe that's what the hold up was as well. Um, the industry looked like they wanted some type of reunion with Prince is what I'm getting from him. Like they wanted to, you know, they wanted him to go out and perform for him. They wanted him to sign contracts. They were negotiating, you know, to, to get back out with an album and things like that. But still, it was a it was a battle. It was still a battle with these people. Regardless, he wanted to hold on to his music. They wanted it, you know. They wanted the the, the, the rights to it. When it comes to the industry, man, they want it all. They so freaking greedy. They're greedy people. And here comes people showing their condolences. They're you know. They're sorry, bringing flowers. Um, uh, voicing your um, sympathy. Um, everybody, you know, like I said, uh, everybody. This could be family members and people all over the world are having conversations about this um, incident because there's just something not right about it just as well as Michael Jackson just as well as Whitney Houston and a lot of others that I can name but I do not have time in this video to go through that of uh, that people that they have murdered I'm, I'm hearing the word murder I heard it when I heard his name just like I said I woke up that morning and I was like just hearing all these Prince songs going through my head and I'm thinking to myself why am I why am I hearing all these Prince songs, you know? And I was like, yeah, you know, start singing some of them. Like, well, I just, I just guess I had just having that moment, a Prince moment or something like that. And then, uh, you know, just scroll through Facebook and no, sure enough, that's what hit right hit me right in my face because I don't watch news on the TV. I don't watch TV at all to tell you the truth. Every once in a while, I watch maybe a movie or something like that to make me laugh. It has to make something make me laugh. I don't get into, you know, any type of uh, news or, or um, you know, shows of that, that are soap operas and things like that. They just have to be like maybe a, mo a good movie, um, something to make me laugh, something of that nature. I, I don't have cable or anything like that. My cable, I told them to come get that out. I have a Roku stick and I use that to pick my music, Netflix and other things, Showbox things like that if I want to watch something whatever I want to choose what I want to watch to see I don't need to be watching no hip hop and all these other type of uh, stereotype TV shows they have on here for you to watch and, and people just love it to death they love to see people fighting and carrying on and getting in all this kind of mess it just don't make no sense how anybody would want to sit up there and watch that kind of stuff and then want to preach, try to preach and save the world or some shit. It don't make sense to me, but people do it every day, so whatever. And then they got a lot of nerve to laugh at somebody else that's trying to help the world or help people in the world. But they sit up there watching some stupid shit on TV, watching us fight against one another and showing, you know, all your, you know, you might as well go in there butt freaking naked because that's what it freaking looks like with a lot of them women and, you know, these men and women are fighting against each other. They ain't showing no love towards one another. And that's why I don't watch it. That's why I don't watch it. So there is a bunch of talk going around because something in the family and not only family, but his fans and everybody else know that this something's not right here. And it is over contracts. Again, it was over contracts and negotiations. He didn't want to let them have what they wanted out of, he stood his ground, he battled with them. Um, and he was going to just do this on his own. He just decided to do away with, um, with them and they decided to do away with him. Okay? That's exactly what happened. And, um... This says wedding, but it's not, you know, it's any kind of contract, you know, anything about a contract, 
that's what that's about you know going to to get some paper signed or you want to get some paper signed and he just didn't want the deal he didn't want the deal because they wanted more than they wanted to take away his things and it really you know it struck the whole world it, it, it everybody's shocked right now everybody's in shock over this guy's death and a lot of people if you got any good common sense you know like he's saying and showing to me through these cards that you know it definitely was some a uh, foul play here um, and it hurt a lot of people but he wants you to know that he is okay he is with the Lord you know he had, he didn't want wasn't really ready to go yet because he had some a, a lot of things that he had to do and he said to tell you in the background he were he was he wasn't like he didn't like to brag about things he was so modest and so he and he knew how to in the industry was too you can't when you become some type type of superstar you be you know you making all these billions and billions of dollars okay they got their eye on you they they rather take, kill you and take the money their self than seeing you do something with the money to help your community or even your family. So he was, you know, let me tell you something. This little, the little five foot, whatever, four, five inches he, uh, he tall he was, little as he was. Let me tell you something. He was doing a whole lot of things behind the scenes. You know, he was very, he was a humanitarian on top of, um, you know, he was going around, um, um, doing tours. As he was doing the tours, he was, and it was said, it was stated by some people that, you know, that was around him that he was, um, giving money out. He was always helping people. He put, you know, he he just done so, so, so much. He told, he's telling me not to tell what it was, but he was just, you know, he was putting, he he wanted you to know the reason why. It wasn't because he was trying to be get rich. He was already rich. He was already famous and things like that. He didn't want all that. He just wanted to go around and help people in the world, but he had to do it in a way to trick the um the trick the evil the trick the devil he had to trick the devil so he was putting on all these concerts going around making up but he was taking the money that he was making he was donating it to all these programs and he had to use somebody else to do it too same way sam cook was going to do he was going to um come up with his own um company Sam Cooke was trying to come up, he was going to make his own company, he had his, his own, you know, his own um, rights to his, his music and things, he had his own catalog, and um, he was going to help out the Nation of Islam, I believe it was, I believe it was with Malcolm X, he, he was coming up where he was going to help him, same way Prince is doing, was doing too. Uh, the same thing, they were just, you know, being undercover, which they know they had to be in order to, you know, get these funds to these people. He was helping the poor people, you know, people that was in distress, he helped. They're, it's all going to come out, though. People people are going to start to come out. They're not going to care nothing about what the, um, what the media says. They're going to come on YouTube. They're going to come on Facebook. They're going to get the word out there what this guy was really all about. Even though he was humbled and didn't want anybody to know. Matter of fact, like I said, he couldn't really do that because if he did, they would have stopped him in his tracks a long time ago. So he tricked them. He was smart. He was the trickster. He knew what to do. Very intelligent. Very slick guy here that we're talking about but very humbled and very respected by people and, and like I said and we're all grieving his death right now as we speak um, and right now you know what I'm saying um, them people up top whoever done this to him they're, they're, they're like I'm telling you th this is one death here that they can, can't hardly come out with anything because for one thing the man was a, a vegan he didn't eat meats um, he, he was spiritual he prayed every day he came out and said that he prayed and I believe him because I could just when I just look at him I could tell uh, when he was around like a lot of celebrities he was just like laid back and he, would, he just had that look on his face like you know what I don't, I don't want all y'all in my face that's just what I would see every time I see him with somebody like with Holly Berry's up there. He just was looking at her like I could see right through you, like uh, you know, I could just I could look at all y'all, just see right straight through you. That's that's the look he would give me. That's the impression I was getting or the vibes that I was getting from this man when he was around these people and as he was receiving his awards. You see how calm and cool he was. <laughs> Strut. 
He had that little that strut about him and all. He, you know that that was confidence right there. He had plenty of confidence, and it wasn't like he, like I said, he wasn't boastful or bragful or anything like that. But he was prideful. He was a prideful young man. Yes, he was, and he deserved to be have that pride. He he was blessed. He sure enough was a prince. And he knew he was a prince too. And he treated himself as a prince and everybody else around him. Whoever was in his world. And if there was anybody out there he could help, he would help them. Believe that he did. He gave so much of himself. He gave all the way until the day he died. He gave. And it's going to come out. He might. It's going to come out even. I'm feeling like he's telling me something about his will. You know, or his uh, estate. It's like, it's almost like he's going to give to the world, like, everything. Like, everything. He's going to give, like, his his siblings and all that something. But I feel like he, I, I just, it's coming through so strong. Like, he's going to, he, he's got something for everybody. There, or, or you know, if it wasn't just touching somebody's heart. He touched all our hearts and our minds and freed and helped free us back in the 80s you know 80 to 80 times he was one of those that stepped out and say you know freedom freedom you know like back in the maybe the 60s how they were like the peace signs that type of dude like it just that era keeps happening over and over again but they just keep they keep killing them you know oh it's just the spirit about that god puts in that some people that rises them up to the height and have to go they have to sacrifice they have to fight and sacrifice so much for people. And they are giving kind people. His spirit just keeps showing up. No matter how much he kills. You never can kill the spirit. The spirit lasts forever. Uh, white man or whoever you are. The the uh, the, the ones that are um, high empowered and are, are greedy. Excuse me for saying white man. I'm not going to say that. I'm, uh, and I'll take that back. I'm going to say the greedy people. You know the ones with, with, with greed. All they think about is money, money on their mind all the time, you know, and you want to take something from somebody else that belongs to them instead of negotiating things, but you just want it all. I'm talking about those type of people. That's what I'm talking. That's what he meant to say. Excuse me. I put my little thing in there and I didn't really mean to say that, but I meant to say the greedy, the greedy. But there's going to be some judgment out of this. For some reason, there's going to be some judgment. Some harsh judgment here. Because um, Prince was just a... He was just a different dude from a lot of things. And I think they really uh, stepped on, on, on the Most High's toes here with this one. They really stepped on it. Because, see, when I'm showing this one, if you look at the guy, he's got one sock on and one sock off. It's like... They're going to slip up some kind of way. Some kind of way something's going to happen. They're going to slip up. Hey, they're going to look down and say, you know what? You got one sock on and one sock off. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody done done something they weren't supposed to be. And, and we're going to catch you in that lie. And somebody's going to get word of it. Well, some, something's going to be a revealed here for it. For Prince, and God's going to reveal it for everybody. Because he did not deserve this. He didn't deserve this. He was doing a hum, hum, he was very humanitarian compared to a lot of all these other um, um, stars or whatever you call them out there. He was he was doing it from the heart. He really loved people. Um, it does show him, you know, maybe had a wife that kind of a child or something was involved with a wife and a, he was helping. He was helping some woman that had children. There was something about a woman who had children that he was always helping out a lot. And that's all he keeps telling me. is some woman with children. I think she was from afar. And I think she was in the industry as well. But I think that she, you know, she was one that got kicked out or something by the Illuminati is what they call them. It's the Illuminati. The bad boys. You know, the, the thugs. Sorry, some of these cards fell. The thugs, the thieves, the um, the killers, the mob, um, the ghetto boys, the um, uh, the ghetto uh, folks, um, the thugs, the thugs. You know, that's who they are. 
that's what he's calling them thugs you know ghetto guys um and I'm not going to be afraid to say it because that's what they are. They're thugs and thieves and greedy. And they are ghetto. Okay? They're the ghetto ones. Don't let that stuff be flipped over to you. They they ghetto. They gangsters. You know, they, they, they go. They kill. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay? They do whatever. They don't care. But God cares. And that's what Prince wanted me to tell you all. God does care. And God does win in the end. It does show that he had to go to a doctor. But let's see what's going on with this doctor here. It doesn't seem like they're giving him anything. He looks like, you know, it looks like, you know, he, yeah, he did go to see a doctor. That was true. But, you know, he ended up passing away. He passed. He passed. But, still got to look at this. Sneaky thief. There are thieves in the temple tonight. Somebody snuck in on him. Sure did. Because he was in a room. Whoever it was, it was in an empty room. They was in a room and they didn't expect it. And they took him out of this room. He was in this room. That's what I'm feeling. Like he was in a room. As these as this person came, there's somebody that came in, okay? And he was in the room. He was in a room. Or something, a studio, something like that is what he's telling me. And somebody came and took him. They, they, he was in that room, but they end up taking him out of that room and put his body in, in they say, an elevator. He was in an elevator. I don't know what kind of story they're going to make up out of that. That one, why they did that, I do not know. Because something said that he was paranoid and all this stuff. He didn't like elevators and stuff like that. So maybe they're going to make up, conjure up some story about maybe he had a... There's no telling with you know with the these evil people. There's no telling what, what kind, they come up with all kind of stories for you to swallow. But don't do it because they're saying, look, there was there was some fault there was some fake false stuff going on here. There was some shady. This was a shady deal here. You know, just like I say, you know, with that person coming in through the window, he was in a room and they caught him in this room. That's where it all took place in this room room. And they took him out of this room that he was in and placed him in that elevator. You know, it was tricks. It was some this was a trick. This was a death. This wasn't somebody killed him. This was death. Some where well, somebody killed him. Hmm. So he's like childlike now you know he's in a world of you know just like a baby childlike happy content um his spirit may go on and return again um he read a lot he was very intelligent he had a, like i said he had a catalog out there he got music he's got music now that he held on to that he never did even bring out yet but it may come out i'm not sure it depends on how his estate is going to be um, or whatever he puts in his will. Whatever his will. That's why I say I think he got something uh, like a gift for everybody in this whole world. You're going to experience something out of this out of this, and you're going to look at Prince and so much. Uh, everybody loved him, you know, but everybody had their conspiracy theories and things like that. But you know what? God made him a prince for a reason. He, they named him prince for a reason. And you're going to see this come out. out of, Through death is life. And you're going to see the life that he's going to bring into this world. It's just going to come out, I believe, through his, his, his estate, his will. It's something that he willed and it's going to benefit the whole entire universe. And that was something that God put in him to do. You know, he was like... um. You know, when, when God, when he came home to God, God was like, you know, you, you know, good work, my good and faithful servant. You may enter in the kingdom of heaven. And that's, you know, wherever it is that you want, I got a place for you. That's what he wants y'all to know. Okay, because this was uh, despair, through, you know, throughout for everybody. It was despair. Um, it, 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 it looks like maybe somebody had him. Somebody could have, uh, he, when he was in this room, wherever this room was, they put a gun to his head to make him move, go, or maybe, or either gave him something, you know, 
shot him with something, a needle or something like that. But this was a forceful thing here. This was forceful because you see the man is, is in despair right now. It's forceful. It was forced upon him. And now, you know, there's sighs and cries. Everybody's unhappy about this situation. It, you know, nobody feels good about it. It was all about the money. The, you know, the money, it, that, it, you know, that's all it was about. That was, a, you know, it was all about money, period, point blank. You know, all about his his fortune, his, his estate, you know, that's what it was all about. But he was protecting all of this. He was protecting all of this. And, you know, he was, you know, like I said, all around the world doing different things. He was traveling. He was traveling around the world doing his own thing by himself. Um, and doing other things for other people as he was on his journey. That's what he wants you to know. He was doing things. He was doing things for other people. He was. He was doing things for other people on his journey. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So, you know, you all can see that was his, his story as far as what happened. So you all can know. Um, he knows there's nothing that anybody could do about it now, but the, you know, but the, the he's leaving that in the hands of the Most High, whose hands he's in right now, uh, to 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 with these wicked people and the wicked ways. He wants you all to know that you know if you're going to be in, if you're going to do something, do it on your own. You know, you know, do it on your own. Um, you can do it. You can make it on your own without having to sign any contracts with anybody without having to um, sacrificing your life or, or sacrificing your soul um, to, to, to just to have fame and fortune because if you're doing all this is God's gift to you you're gifted so you're able you know you could do this by yourself you don't have to sign contracts with anybody just you know hey that's they, and they you know I hope they don't but one day they may shut down the internet because they might get hit to all this stuff that these people are getting killed you know just so they can get their fame and fortune and their money and stuff like that for the and you know their 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 family and stuff like that never ends up with anything I mean they hate to see you have anything it's like they greedy they gotta have it all and I don't understand, like, they're not going to live forever either. If they do, they're going to live forever in hell, you know, in purgatory. They're going to forever be in purgatory in hell for doing the things that they do for, to other people, to God's children. These are God's children that they're taking out of here. Each and every one of us are God's children, but there is some evil, messed up people, greed, greedy, and they will never, ever enter the gates of he heaven. Never. They won't make it. They won't make it. They won't make it. They've done too many things, and then they believe that they're God. They don't believe in it. They don't even believe, really. They know He's there, but for somehow or another, misery loves company. And that's all I can say about that. Let's see what else Prince wants us to know. Okay, in his passing, be authentic. To who you are, see. He wants us to know that to be authentic, authentic to who we are. That's what I just said. You know, don't don't sell out. If you want to be in the music industry, be very very careful, careful, and be authentic <coughs> to who you are. You are asked uh, to be real and more um, more pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So, you know, this was Prince's motto right there. You know, do you, do you, do you, don't worry about nobody else. Stay strong and keep your own. Whatever it is you do, you hold on to your own and you be strong. And then it says, spend some quality time together. You know, love, love come quick. Love come in a hurry. Um, kiss. Remember, this reminds me of the song. Remember, kiss, kiss. <laughs> You know, there's just so many of his songs that, you know, he's telling you here, life is short. So, you know, when you're with somebody, just spend some quality time together. Even it could be not even lovers, but, you know, even with relatives, friends, 
things of that nature. He wants you to spend some time, some quality time, because he's saying time is short. You know what I mean? So spend that time. For those who are out there that may not be speaking to somebody for a long time, it's time to get the, close to them. Uh, for those who um, may be broke up in a bad relationship, you don't, you never have any closure. It's time for somebody to break down and just go ahead and have that talk, that closure. Say, you know what? It didn't work out between us, you know, and, you know, we cool, you know, just, you know, we cool anyway. Know what I mean? Regardless, it, it was nobody's fault. Let's just say it wasn't for us. You know, it wasn't for us to be. It was an experience for us to be together. Thank God we were because it brought us to a place where we needed to be in our life. And, you know, I hold no grudge against you. I hope you don't hold any grudge against me. That's what he's telling me. And he's flowing this through me like, you know, just love. Just love because, you know, time is just too short. It's too short. It's too short. And be supportive, he said. Be supportive towards one another. Love one another. Be supportive. Don't never give up. You know, come. It's time to come together. It's time to come together and 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 be that people that we supposed to be and support each other in whatever we whatever our endeavors are and not put each other down and be jealous. And he also wants some of you, he's telling some of you out there to take a chance on love. Okay? First off, he's saying, you know, love in some type of love relationship. Don't, he's saying, don't die alone. Don't, don't die be lo being lonely because life is too short. He says, nothing wrong with being alone. He said, but, you know, don't waste no time dying alone. That's what he just said when he met in this card. You know, and it also means, you know, take some take a chance on love with, with anything or anybody, basically. Take a chance. Some of you that may have given up on love, he's saying don't give up. He's saying don't give up. Let me get one more. And he's saying he's talking about romance here, too. He's talking about you lovers with some romance. Get some romance going in your life. Have, you know, cut loose. Have fun. Find a romantic partner of your life. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So give that love, attention, and affection. Because like he's saying, time is too short. And you might miss out. So do it now. Do it now. Because tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. Do it. Just give your all and all. And don't worry about what other people got to say. Okay? That's, what, that's his words to you from me to you from Prince to you he's saying get out there love love yourself um, whatever you do do it to the best of your ability and you keep a hold of it don't let nobody take it away from you do what he did even if you have to sacrifice yourself for it because it's time that this mess stops it's time for this to stop it's time for all these. Don't give these people your money. Who they think they are? They can't beat God, you know. They can't. They can't win against Him. Because when it last call for alcohol, it's going to be the Most High, you know. He already got it planned out. He. We just have to go through the plan, okay? And we have to get better and better with this. This stuff has to stop. And we have to start yelling out to the world and let them know. These people that, you know, think they're getting away with something that we see you. We see you. And that's why I'm putting out this video. I'm not afraid. I don't care. And that's why maybe he picked me to use me. I'm not sure. But he knows I don't care. And he knows that I done made my, my pact with the Lord. He knows I done made my pact with the Lord. So if they want to come get me in and take me out of here, I don't care because I know where I come from and I know where I'm going. Say it the Lord. Okay? So I'm not worried. I don't care. I can come out and say whatever. I, I'll say it. You know, that, you know, hey, stop killing. Stop killing these people. Stop being murderers. Because I see you. I see you through the Most High God. I see you. And I see what you've done to this man. And he's telling me through the Most High what you've done to him and others as well. Stop doing it. Because you ain't going to win. 
you're not winning. You're not winning at this. You're not going to win. The Most High God said to tell you, you're not going to win. And these cards are just flying all over the place. You're not going to win. You ain't taking nobody. You ain't doing nothing by taking somebody out of here. Yeah, you hurting people. But everybody, yeah, we all going to go one day. But you know what? We're going to go with our souls intact. You know, we don't have to conform. We don't want to conform to you. We don't want no parts of your ugly, mean selves. We don't want nothing to do with y'all. We'd rather suffer. We'd rather go ahead on and go with our uh, uh, hearts intact, like Prince did, like Michael Jackson did, and go to heaven with God, who has so much more to offer us than you. Stinky, rotten, dirty dogs. That's what I feel right now, and I don't care. You kill you killed all these people throughout the lifetime for for and where where are you getting? And, you know, and, and most high God already said that you know you wanna be the one to suffer. You know, whatever you plans you got, it's gonna be it's gonna backfire on your asses. So you what you better make plans on doing is is what how you feel how you gonna get out of this situation that you got yourself into here when the most high God's wrath comes down. And it's not really his wrath or nothing. It's, all it is is what goes around, baby, comes around every time. It never fails. And it's coming around to you guys. And when it hits you, it's going to come crashing down like a... Just like you crashed down on these people that you've killed throughout the years. In the in the music industry and the, the industry in period. Period. No matter where it is. Acting, all that. The things that you've done. The things that you've made these people do. This evil stuff. Is all coming back to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, you it, Illuminati, whatever they call you. I don't care. I don't look at you as being shit. I don't look at you as being anything to me. Okay, let me stop. And now it's time to read these cards. Okay, Art, Archangel Uriel came up. Okay, and Art, Uriel, Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. They may be talking to me on this one, because I, I am a very angry. I'm so sick and tired of these same old stories, these same old lines. And, and they killed, killed that poor little girl as well, Whitney Houston's daughter. Just for greed, just for the greed and the money. It's just like it's this must be Prince must be talking to me on that one for real. Cause I am angry. I'm angry and I'm sick and tired of it. And I'm gonna call it out the way it is. They killed them all. They killed them. We maybe we got Angel Omega. And Angel Omega say, Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. <laughs> so thank you for that one. Thank you for that one. Okay. And then we have Angel Celeste. A happy a happy let's see. Sorry y'all. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will um will usher in positive new energy. I I think a prince is talking to me right now, or maybe some of you out there may be going through the same thing I'm going through because this, uh, you know, our angel Uriel is gonna. I'm mad right now because of the situation. It's Omega about you know victory that um, uh, your desire is coming to fruition, and they know what my desires and my hearts are, and things that I've been thinking about doing, and a more happy new new home is coming, and I believe that's. Prince talking to me, <laughs> trying to calm me down or whatever, okay? And then um, our angel, uh, Chantel, angel Chantel is here to say, new romance is, uh, is either with a newcomer or through reunited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. That's all, Chantel. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I'm not going to read no more of those that sit with the angel cards. Because I believe, you know, these are the angels speaking to Prince and giving me some kind of encouragement. Because at some or another, I feel touched to those. I feel touched to them for some reason. So, well, you know, guys, 
that's all I'm going to do right now because I, you know, I'm getting emotional. Here's Prince's little pillow here that he told me to get out, and I got it out for him. And, and I just, I know I talk a lot. I read that's just the way I am. I can't help it. There's different readers that just come, you know, hey, hey, this, 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 and this, and that's it. I have, I'm passionate about what I do, so that's why I, I talk a lot, and I'm so sorry about that. So that was my, um, Thank you, Prince, for coming in um, and helping me with this reading uh, and helping explain it to the world or whoever sees these videos about what went on in your life and what happened, exposing the things that happened and um, the good things to look forward to that you uh, mentioned um, that's going to take place throughout you know, your estate. All that's going to come out in the wash. Everything's going to come out in the wash. Uh, just wanted to give you those messages. And, you know, he is... He's being t well taken care of. He's very, very happy. He's at peace. He, um, you know, mo something he just, but even what he left behind, there's a bunch of music that he left behind that you guys haven't even heard yet, but you're going to get a chance to hear it, but it's not going to be through the industry. It's going to be a, a different way, and that's going to be him expressing all this love that he has for you, um, and the reason why he didn't come out, because they, they wanted to take all that away from him, they didn't want it to be his, but it's his, I mean, it's just, I'm just feeling like he's telling me like a whole library of stuff that he just never, he, he wanted to do more, and he wanted to do more, but he had to fight these people, keep fighting and fighting and fighting these people to keep his own stuff, he's saying, this is mine, I wrote all this, I put all the time, and I I bled myself, my fingers to death on these, I, you know, I'm using all these instruments, I'm the one putting in all the work, why do you want all the money, when this is my gig, this is mine, I don't blame him. I don't blame one bit, you know, I really don't. I wouldn't either. I just have to say I sacrifice that somebody else will pick it up and take it along somewhere, somehow, some way. It's gonna get out there anyway through the most high God. That that's just the bottom line of that. And um that's all I have to say is uh, you know, Prince, we love you and um thank you for choosing me to be your reader to whoever watches this video. You know, uh when I was going through these past three days you know you talking to me I'm like I can't believe that I'm hearing this person talking to me and telling me to do this and do that and I was like in denial for a while I was like laying down and laying around like mm -mm, not me um they gonna call me really crazy I'll probably already called me crazy he's like uh you know what you don't care about what nobody say so what are you pouting about you don't care about what nobody say you know I didn't care about what nobody says and you, I want you to do this so I did it I got it done and over with that was the prince thing that I had to say he was he was murdered yes he was he was murdered and they're gonna have a hard time trying to put this one together because uh, they I think they fooled around and um, they went in a little too fast before they you did I think they messed their little game plan up and you'll all know what what I'm talking about as time goes by but I just all want you to know that he he's okay you know he's in a good place he's 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 he's, he's at peace you know he's at peace um he's with the lord he's with god um and he's in a high place with god too he's in a high place he's he's with royalty with god okay i can just tell you that much he's in royalty with god and um that's where a prince belongs okay so i hope you all enjoyed that and um from me from the Most High God to the God and Angels and Prince, just want to say we love you. And take care. Bye-bye.